relates and this basically is to do with our proposed planned uh, intensified IEC campaign fixed for the 12th of this month where our Honorable Chief Minister will do the honors by way of uh, by way of being the special guest at the launching function on Monday that is. So here, if this is going to be a Pan-India event and uh, will happen on the same day. So as I said, by way of a background, uh, our country, India, faces a significant uh, constant challenge in the form of, in the form of HIV AIDS. And um, India has a very high number of people living with HIV. And uh, even though the national HIV PR, the prevalence rate, is low, uh, there are approximately 25.44 lakh people living with HIV AIDS in India. And just last, uh, as per the official count in the, uh, of 2023, we have uh, 68,450 new cases. So, yes, and there are certain states uh, that have shown a rising trend, uh, including, including some of our some of the states here in our northwest India, such as. Uh, such as Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya. Fortunately, for our state, we have been, to some extent, able to stabilize uh, the epidemic. And uh, as such, for the last four or five years, there have been no spike, increasing spike in the graph. And presently, however, presently uh, we still stand at the uh, as per our prevalence rate. We still stand, Nagaland stand at uh, number two, only next to Mizoram. And presently we have a, a prevalence rate of uh, 1.34. So, in order to enhance the knowledge levels of uh, awareness to our general public. This intensified campaign is going to be uh, held and this is going to be uh, following the launching program. This is, this is going to be a two month exercise. So this is intended to reach all nooks and corners of our state. And uh, the key objective of this entire 60 days uh, program is to, and as I said, is to enhance the knowledge and understanding for the general public. Number two is to promote safe practices and reduce stigma. So, uh, as you are aware, the major major uh, step that we can take towards creating awareness to our public is through this kind of awareness activities and as is uh, as is obvious this can be achieved mainly through our uh, uh, our media so uh, under IEC, a lot of activities have been planned and uh, in detail our concerned program officers will dwell upon the details, uh, the activities. <coughs> However, uh, there will be, there will be broad based two types of, uh, two types of category based on which all these activities will be carried out. One will be rural activities and one will be urban activities. Under the rural level, we will have uh, village level meetings and uh, HIV awareness 
then they, we shall be having school outreach programs in all villages all villages as in we have uh, shortlisted 780 villages then we will have we will be disseminating information on hiv sti through our ic materials we shall be having interpersonal communication sessions with village health sanitation nutrition dates in the category of the urban level activities we shall be having uh, it shall be launched through a rally then we will be having flash mobs and awareness sessions in all colleges especially the through our rrc the red ribbon uh, club agencies we shall also be having special camps at government hospitals and also sensitization programs for our ombudsmen and complaints officers. So, as I said, uh, to go into the details, further details of this, I will now uh, give the time to our uh, deputy director, IEC Director. Thank you. Thank you, director. We will be having campaign activities at the rural as well as at the urban levels. And this rural levels is planned at 780 villages in Nagaland, and this will be conducted by our field functionaries at, uh, at the district, and this will be done in coordination with the district administration and village council. So, because uh, for this campaign, we will require and we we really need the support of our district administration, including the village council because we are going to have a late level meeting on HIV and STI awareness. We will also be performing folk performances by our BZ entertainment. The selection has been done. So they will be going to the villages and performing uh, folk media through which awareness will be generated uh, amongst the, the villagers. And also, we are also going to have uh, school outreach programs at village level and disseminating information on HIV and STIs uh, at a village through IC materials and including the interpersonal communication sessions. All these things will be done at the village level in, uh, by our field functionaries in coordination with, with, the, uh, with the district uh, administration and village council. And at the urban level, as mentioned earlier, we are going to have a rally and then the first the state level rally is uh, going to be organized on the 12th of August in commemorating the International Youth Day, as well as the, the day of the launching of intensified campaign. So this activity will be done, and all these things are being done to create awareness so that we can all come together and uh, and uh, and disseminate as much as information to the. To the people, and our main objective is to create as much as uh, as much as information and awareness within the span of two months. So we have this specific period of time given to us, so that we can at least reach out to maximum people. And then we are also going to have flash mobs and uh, some awareness sessions in colleges through RC. Because of this, our preparation is uh, preparations are going on. From we're starting from the the Kohima zone, and this Kohima zone youth convention will start from 12th and 13th. So the very purpose of training the RC delegates, the delegates will be coming from seven districts, so the very purpose of training these delegates is that they will be trained as HIV ambassadors, and when they go back from the youth convention, they will create awareness, they will carry out awareness sessions in their respective colleges and institutes and wherever possible amongst their peer members. So this is the main objective of having this youth convention, which will be from 12th uh, to 13th August. So this is also included in our intensified campaign, which uh, we are launching on 12th August. And then the other districts will be covered in other two zones in Dimapur and Mokjung, which will be uh, planned out and conducted shortly. And the rest other uh, districts will be covered under those two zones. So we have uh, different kind of activities, and uh, like uh, 
Our sir has mentioned the special camps at government hospitals and sensitization of ombudsman will be done. And we have, uh, because of the social media uh, influences that are, is present at the moment, we have social media activities extensively uh, being carried out during this two months period. And we have chalked out in such a way that this will be carried out on a daily basis for eight weeks. And the themes that we are going to touch upon are the roots of transmission and uh, <coughs> prevention strategies, myths and misconceptions, risk perception and promotion of services, promotion of national toll-free helpline 1097, condom promotion and safe sexual behaviors, STI prevention and treatment, substance use and drug abuse, stigma and discrimination. So we have uh, eight themes, thematic areas, which will cover almost the entire topic of HIV, and we are going to run this information through the social media platforms that we have. And we are also going to use the you know, the red wires. These red wires are uh, the our our NSEX dedicated uh, HIV ambassadors, whom we have also trained during uh, last time during the influences, Nagaland influences from place. So these influences, we are going to use them. We are going to piggyback on their on their platforms, and we are going to create as much as awareness on all these uh, things, so that it reaches out to the general population. So this is how we are going to carry forward. This is our plan of uh, the intensified campaign for a few months. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, we are we are going to cover seven eighty villages. So. Uh, because 780 is a huge number to be covered under the two months period of uh, within the two months period, but we are we are hopeful that our dedicated uh, staff field functionaries at the district can do it. And uh, this is uh, we have selected 780 villages accordingly because uh, we wanted to to have maximum reach. And in Netherlands, we have a total villages of. 1,280 as per the census. So we are taking 60% of the of the entire uh, village. So we want to cover almost all the villages, but within two months, like uh, it's impossible also to cover, you know, to cover all the districts, but we are taking maximum reach, at least 60% we want to reach out. And those villages are uh, the villages where, you know, they are, uh, where, uh, you know, they have less access services to HIV facilities, HIV um, yeah, facilities at the district. So we, we are selecting those villages on need base, and this is being done, the micro planning is being done by our Bisha team at the district. So they are selecting the villages according to the need and uh, prevalence of HIV. So the uh, 70 plus villages will be covering all the districts? Yes. So when you see uh, zone-wise, yes. that is covering the urban or like or and you know, the No, the zone-wise is for the youth convention. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's different. The zone is for the youth convention, but the villages is uh, is district-wise. Yeah. So 780 villages. We have uh, we have the breakup here. If uh, you want to know, Dimapur. So Dimapur covering Newland and Chumudima. We have 129 villages to be covered. Kifuri, we have 63 villages to be covered. Kohima, including Tsimilu, we have 68 villages. Longland, 28 villages. Mokchung, 52. Mon, 73. Peren, Peren is 52. Pak is 59. Yunsang, including Shamator, is 46. Woka is 80. Zunheboto is 102. Noklak is 28. So total is coming to 780 villages. So this is the challenge that we have taken, and I hope and um, we are we are sure that our yeah, our field staff, our field functionary will do well and reach out to and try to cover the target that we have set.